speaking exclusively to Express. Co.uk, the former rugby union player said that the three of them are still extremely close after they all left the show back in 2020. Not wanting to leave the show, Matt Dawson and fellow team captain Phil Tufnell, 56, left alongside Sue Barker, 66, who was asked by the BBC to leave in order for them to refresh the quiz show. It was later announced that Paddy McGuinness would take over as host and Sam Cleck and Hugo Monnier as team captains. In light of their departure from the show, Matt explained that if left to him he would have continued to be on the show forever. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Matt shared, I would have carried on doing Question of Sport forever. I mean, I absolutely loved it. So we were of course incredibly sad to have left the show. I mean it's not like I was just a sports quiz freak for Question of Sport. I've always been a sports quiz freak since I was a little lad. Prince Harry's move may cause irrevocable harm to Sussex plans claims Jane Moore when asked if he would ever consider returning to another panel show, he added, yeah, of course, given the opportunity to play those types of games and quiz, particularly on sport. I still enjoy it and yeah, I would relish the opportunity to do something like that. Since leaving Question of Sport back in 2020, Matt and Phil's beloved Sue announced her retirement from television and presenting altogether. Having commentated and presented Wimbledon 2022, the former tennis player has now stepped back from the limelight. Yet after 24 years of appearing on the show, the trio have formed a bond that goes beyond the television. Richard Gere's mortality fears at 72 as he hopes to live to see his trottlers grow up, inside Fern Britton's ex-husband Phil Vickery seen kissing her best pal two years after split, latest George Clooney admits to terrible mistake he and Amal made with twins they can harm us, comment, when asked if he still keeps in regular contact with both Phil and Sue, Matt replied, definitely. Then when mentioned about the possibility of a WhatsApp group, Matt went on to say, yeah there are weekly conversations, boozy lunches, updates on general well-being and what we're up to. Yeah, yeah, very much so. With the three of them still very close, it makes their departure from the show even sadder, especially as Sue has recently spoken about the regrets she has in regards to how it all came to an end. Appearing on BBC Breakfast, Sue criticised the way in which the BBC handled her departure. She said, It is such a shame because, I have to say, that the BBC had told us we were going. They wanted to refresh the programme and that is absolutely fine. Everyone has the right to do that. We don't own the programme. I had and 24 amazing years working with the most incredible people. So we knew it was going to happen and it was just the way in which it happened and the way it was handled, and the way the BBC sort of wanted me to say that I was walking away from it. And yet, I would never walk away from a job I love. I don't mind being replaced. Absolutely fine. That happens. But it was just the way it was handled. I think we regret the way it was handled. I think if we look back on it we could have handled it better. I think the BBC could have handled it better, she added. Using the collective term we, it can only be assumed that Sue is not only talking for herself but for Matt and Phil also. Question of Sport remains the world's longest-running TV sports quiz having first aired a pilot episode in December of 1968. 
the series then regularly ran from 1970 onwards and celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2020.